Okay team, real quick, today it is time for a tune up. This conversation comes up over and over and over and over again with all of the clients that I work with and that is a conversation about value. We talk a lot about the value that we're delivering. Um, we might talk about value drivers. Um, this word value is kind of a hot topic, gets repeated regularly, but I'm here today to tell you that you're doing it wrong, we're using that word in the wrong way, and to start to get really specific about how we're using some of this language because it's going to help us to be clear about the direction in which we're moving and how we're shaping our organization and our culture as we go. And the distinction I want to make today is the difference between value and benefits. And bear with me because sometimes this takes a little while to sink in. Value is as defined as the customer. When you hear me talk about value with any of the mentors that I've worked with, value is defined by the customer. Um, one of my dear mentors used to say, the customer is the arbiter of value. When I say customer, not your, inter not your internal customer, we don't use that language. Your stakeholders in the organization are not customers. When I say customer, I mean end user customer, the person who is using your product or service, the person that stands to benefit from the product or service that you are delivering. That customer is the person who, outside of your organization, defines value and defines what, what it means for your organization to deliver value. They actually start to really work in closely with your purpose and the way that we understand our purpose as an organization in the eyes of our customer. So the customer is the arbiter of value. Benefits are all of those other things that come as part of us doing a good job. It's usually the type of stuff that gives us a bonus and it's all the stuff that makes us feel really good about the way that we run a business. It's those things like efficiency, uh, cost reduction, revenue generation, uh, technology rationalization, application, application rationalization, um, security and compliance, risk, legal, all of these things. So benefits are the things that we earn based on us doing a good job. They make us feel really good. The customers probably don't care about them much, if at all. And if I hear one more person tell me that customers care about whether or not we're efficient so that we can continue to stay in business, you're all getting a big slap. So that distinction is something that will come up again and again in your organization. And if you can be really clear on that language, that distinction between value, which is defined by the customer, versus benefits, which are the things that we, in all honesty, absolutely need to do and need to deliver, but they're not the things that turn our customers on and they're the things that might earn us a bonus, but ultimately it's not going to keep us in business. The value is where it's at. That's what we want to be focused on. If you can start to be really clear about that language, what's going to happen is you're going to build this culture where people can see the distinction between those two things. And naturally teams start to go after value because they realize that as they deliver value for customers, they can at the same time do it in a way so that they are delivering business benefits, so that we are being more efficient in our process or we are, um, because we are generating value for our customers, we're going to sell more and we will get those sales revenues as, as a byproduct of doing the right thing for our customers. So you'll build that culture around teams choosing where to focus. You start to put those, it's almost like having guide rails in place and your teams will naturally go after the things that are right for their customer and right for your organization's customers as a whole, rather than getting too tied up in, well, we need to change all of these systems and, you know, you get stuck in those, love them, nerdy tech talk conversations about rationalizing a piece of legacy architecture, which fascinating as it is. We then, when we come to put together a business case, have to talk about money and all of these really boring things that, yeah, it's important, but it's not actually going to deliver anything for our customers. And our customers might not even see a difference at the end of it. They might not see an impact. And so all of those things that they're fretting about, all of those things that are generating um, their support calls and all that stuff, like it's not actually going to have an impact for our customers. So why are we doing it? Um, 
So I'm not disputing that benefits are required. Don't get me wrong. We need to deliver benefit for our business. That's just part of running an efficient machine. What I'm trying to say here is that when you focus on benefits rather than focusing on value, your vision's in the wrong place. Focus on value, get those benefits as as part of the, the result, but they're not the core focus. The more that you focus on those things, the further away you get from customer. The more you focus on customer value, the closer you get to understanding what's important to them, the closer you get to delivering what they're after, and then a whole bunch of that noise around support calls, around um, you know, needing more from you as an organization, all that noise starts to fall away because we're getting laser-like focus on what's important and what matters and what value is to customers. So I want to share that tune up with you today. Value, customer defines value. Benefit, all the stuff that we do to run an efficient organization that makes us feel really good and probably gets us our bonuses. But making that distinction around the two is going to help to start to shift your culture and to reorient your culture particularly if you're starting out in some of these conversations. If you're early, it's a great place to get really clear on the language because once you go down this path um, and you're a little way down the track, then it can be harder for us to get our heads around why we would stop talking about using value when we're talking about actually it's just a business benefit. So get really, really clear on that language. It'll help to drive your team culture. It'll help to ensure that you're focused on the right place without even having to think about it. And it'll start to change the nature of your conversations. It'll start to shift the whole way that you discuss the work that you're doing, um, how the team's operating, where you put your focus. So that's it from me today. Quick tune up. This is a good one to come back to regularly. Um, as I said, tune up. This is the type of thing that recurs. So come back to this regularly. Revisit this conversation with your teams, with your peers and your colleagues around value as defined by the customer and benefits for our business. That's it from me this week. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having an awesome, awesome week. Drop me a comment below. Um, tear me out. All good. Happy with that. Share an opinion. Um, share some examples. That'd be awesome. Would love to hear from you. Have an awesome day.